And as your next general representative, my goal is to literally generally represent all 28,674 UCLA undergraduates. By spreading the idea that experience is the best education across campus, I know that each student will be, able to, will be able to leave UCLA learning something new. Everyone needs to take a step out of their UCLA bubble for a little while, and that's exactly what my office will help you next year. I went home the day after divesting feeling underrepresented after over 25 diverse organizations to firm on an issue that those on council voted against. And I did not feel safe on campus after being racially profiled multiple times for being a Muslim student. My father's resp response was simple. What are you going to do about it? My diversity, passion, experience, both on and off campus, have driven me to stand before you all today. Well, in only two years, I have gained experience in not only USAM, but also in other areas on campus as well. As your next general representative, I hope to accomplish platforms that I've made that are tangible and feasible in the short amount of time that we have. I understand the special elections put, put, puts us at an awkward stand. We only have about two and a half quarters. Yet with my platforms, such as the Study Abroad blog and the Perspective Showcase, I know that I will be able to incorporate students' voices into my office next year. Um, for the, in my other platform, to revamp your own view, I have to solicit student, uh, student, survey, student feedback in a survey in order to realize what they need uh, for jobs and opportunities. I feel like that one thing that has lacked within the general representative office is accountability. And I think that in doing so, we need to update the bylaws. I've already discussed working with Manjot Singh, who's the current general representative, uh, one, to update those bylaws and make them a lot more specific. Because currently, general representative, the, the office of the general representative does not have a specific goal. And our duty as a general representative is to represent the entire community. It starts with the apathy problem here. And I know that I can combat that problem. I hope to campaign this week not only for me to win this election, but in order to educate students here at UCLA what USAC is all about. And USAC is that is that tool here on campus to really get involved and really get your experience here at UCLA and, and inside and outside of UCLA. Another thing I hope to do is increase the CSO band hours, which I have already discussed with transportation services. Realistically, students are out past 11 p.m. Sexual assault happens past 11 p.m. We need to update these resources that we have and make them more tangible, make them more feasible, and make safety a priority on this campus, because right now, it is not a safety. It's not a priority, I'm sorry. Safety's not a priority. <laughs> For example, if I can ask a question to the audience, how many of you all have used the computer lab in the Student Activity Center? Almost everybody. How many of you all have used the test bank in the Student Activity Center? How many of you all are transfer students? So the, the services that are listed in the referendum benefit all of you, basically. And this referendum, by funding and supporting the continued growth of these services, not only benefits certain student communities on this campus who need these services, but also all students who utilize these things. And this is what really diversity encompasses. It will benefit the student body in a way that future councils will know how to deal with vacancies. So currently in the Constitution, there's only language on how to deal with vacancies right um, after the midpoint, and that's um, council gets to um, appoint someone with the president and like kind of like voting with the council, but now that um, there's a vacancy that has occurred before the midpoint, now council has a way to officially address this without kind of having to like um, kind of make up their own stuff. So it's just a, to provide flexibility for future councils and vacancies. Thank you so much. You are. Having emigrated from the cold snows of Minnesota to the sunny sides of California, I attended high school in the Bay Area and further community college up until last spring. I held a number of positions, leadership positions, in that time, and I know that that makes me an eligible candidate. As a beginning transfer, I realized and experienced firsthand the successes and failures transfers have to live with. It isn't easy being a transfer, and we all have our reasons for our routes to UCLA. But I am back and I know what it takes to be here. Transfers have experienced life and bring both of those experiences to campus. We have sacrificed and worked hard to be here, and we have an opportunity to change the culture around being a transfer student. I have worked with the transfer community, I have worked for the transfer community, and now I am here to represent the transfer community. My name is Negin Sadovimovahed. I am ready to be your first transfer student representative, and it's time for transfers to take it to the table. Time in history, there will be a transfer representative with a vote and a voice in Kirkhoff 417. 
Transfers make up over one third of UCLA's population, yet we have been historically underrepresented in USAC and in the greater UCLA community. It is finally our time to be heard. I have immersed myself in transfer student issues, and I know that there is so much more that needs to be done for our community. I am passionate about this job. In Transfer Student Alliance, I am the co-director. In the USAC Internal Vice President's Office, I am the Executive Director of Student Group Outreach, and I have served as a Transfer Student Group Liaison. I am qualified for this job. Um, as transfer representative, this is a brand new position as you brought up, and so there's a level of precedent that needs to be set. Within that position, I would like to fulfill all the enumerated powers that exist on paper, as well as creating new routes for which the transfer representative can connect with the transfer community. These include some of my ideas for town hall sessions, transfer centers, uh, tabling the transfer groups and resident assistants and USAC committees together to bring about cohesive ideas to solve transfer problems, new student issues regarding new student orientation and uh, giving them a better chance of being able to ingratiate themselves into the Bruin community. Among the number of issues that the transfer community faces, one being commuter student issues, 60% of transfer students are commuter students. Uh, in addition to that, on-campus housing, only 10% uh, transfers live on on-campus housing on the Hill. Uh, there's, there's also academic issues that transfer students face, such as uh, speaking with academic counselors who are not truly understanding of transfer-sensitive needs and transfer-sensitive language um, that they use with transfer students. Uh, in addition to that, I also think that uh, transfer center is a huge um, undertaking that the Transfer Student Representative Office can advocate for. I spoke with Administrators Mick DeLuca specifically on making sure that this transfer center uh, could be implemented in the coming years. Uh, we just need a space for that. Um, in addition to that, I just mainly the biggest issue that we face is disengagement from the campus. And that's why I will increase transfer themed housing on the hill so that um, more transfers will have access to community themed floors and buildings. I will also in, uh, streamline transfer resources and I will create a transfer success guide, which the Bruin Resource uh, Center has been trying to work on for quite a while. I've already met with uh, the program director of students with dependents, Melissa St. Clair, and she is really excited to be working with me on this project. Um, I will have transfer student organization contact information and meetings, uh, meeting times so that transfers can build community within those uh, organizations.